Okay, Sagittarius. We are jumping right in. This is Infinity Empress Guru. You, uh, sorry, Empress Guru Seven YouTube channel. All right. So basically, this is the energy for um, July 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius. Also, I did do um, an astrology tarot forecast, an astrology forecast with a tarot reading um, for all signs. So that energy, uh, I mean, those readings are, sorry, those videos are definitely on the channel. You can check them out. I'll probably add the link. And I did do, um, I'm doing all 12 signs for the month of July. So, I already did Cancer, Leo, Libra, Scorpio. You can feel free to check those out if you have any of those signs in your chart. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get started with Sagittarius energy. So, definitely, if you come across this video, please interact, comment, like, share. Um, perhaps subscribe and do click the bell for notifications. So, I'm going to jump right in. I haven't even shuffle completely yet and the devil card flew out i feel like a capricorn could be significant to a sagittarius right now um if not there could definitely be just some devil energy lurking all right it's supposed to be three tarot cards one goddess oracle card three ganesha cards three ganesha oracle cards and one kali oracle but i do clarify the tarot messages so um more than likely it'll be more than three tarot cards but that would be the main thing so what are the messages for the sign of sagittarius for july 2022 please? please feel free to check me out on youtube check my website out i do have a gemstone accessories and other merchandise um the gemstone bracelets that i have one i did get from my boutique so kundalini eclipse boutique is my boutique website www.kundalini eclipse by infinity.org you could also book a tarot session and a pendulum reading with me um the link will be in this bio uh not the bio in the description um if not this one there are it is in the description on here so please feel free to check out other videos okay and make sure you check out the screen description for more information and you could definitely um, inquire with me about booking a reading facebook uh, instagram and all that good information is on here okay what is the energy what is the energy what is the messages for the sign of sagittarius july 2022 Like I said, the astro forecast is posted um, on the channel, and that's for all 12 signs. And um, you might want to check that out. That's a part of the tarot lunch buffet segment. And then there are some personal readings, uh, live personal readings posted that I. Uh, Obviously, I'm live on Beagle, but I record for YouTube, and you can definitely watch those videos. Um, definitely see how I my style of reading, and if you would like to purchase a reading with me, like I said, that services of that booking service is available on my website. Okay, Sagittarius, July 2022. that I'm using for the Sagittarius is the Tarot de Marsalis deck. Okay. Okay, two of cups. King of cups.
Hmm. Water sign could be significant to a Sagittarius, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this King of Cups energy. Um, the Two of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, but you have the Seven of Cups here. It's only supposed to be three cards I already pulled for. kind of feel like this is a false offer if this is a water sign maybe even a pisces i just feel like somebody is lying somebody could be saying that they have money that they don't have somebody could be saying that they have a foundation that they don't have somebody could be trying to offer their cup of love but it comes with some type of fabrication with the seven of cups here Two of Cups, King of Cups, a lot of water energy. Can I get a clarifier for this Two of Cups? Too many cards. Clarifier for the Two of Cups. Two, four, six of Pentacles. The six of Pentacles could represent somebody helping somebody out. It's supposed to be some type of equal give and take. Like I said, somebody could be helping somebody that needs help, but also in a more not that this is a negative reading but in the in the, in, the, in the more it could also be that somebody could definitely be materialistic here and maybe if this king of cups here is offering some type of sentimental emotional type of energy to somebody maybe they could be taking advantage of it i don't know seven of cups here uh, what's this? The, the 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 Ace of Cups is here. I'm not going to keep it, but I pulled it out. The Ace of Cups is here. This is love, foundation, happiness. Could be a home foundation. Uh, the Ten of Cups is out here. And that also represents love. Love is definitely significant here with this King of Cups. Too many cards. Clarify the uh, King, King of uh, Cups for me, please, for the sign of the series. What's, what's this King of Cups? Too many cards. You have this uh, Ace of Cups here again, Justice card, Strength, Temperance with Sagittarius Energy, the Emperor here. This King of Cups could also be the Emperor. Somebody in a position of power. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. So what is this Seven of Cups? The King of Cups is Ten of Cups. He's offering something. And the Ten of Pentacles is here. He has it. He has it. If this is significant to a Sagittarius and there's some type of um, Scorpio, preferably a male, that's offering something, ugh. But you got to be careful here because you got the seven of fucking cups with now you have the five of cups here. Loss of pleasure. And when I, with, with this king of pentacles, I, with this king of um, cups, I feel like this person being an energy is weird. So if they don't get what they want, whatever they give you, whatever offers they have for you, they take it back or they, they renege because they're petty. Yeah, five of cups. Five of Cups with this ten of, ten of Pentacles. And this one is Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody is a liar, though. 
I feel like somebody is a liar and they probably um, like to make it look like they have more just so they could get more from somebody else. Big Scorpio energy. Not all Scorpios are like that, but some. They could also be predators that offer, you know, justice card here. Libra is significant. Like, oh wow, I don't know if a Libra is on a Scorpio cusp. Libra and Scorpio keep coming up in each other's reading. Justice card is here. Somebody is going to receive karma for something that they're doing. Two, six, seven of wands. Seven of Cups. With that Justice card coming out for the Seven of Cups, if somebody lying and trying to trick somebody, you have Three of Pentacles material work. Somebody is a user. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Devil right back out. And there's a few Pentacles here. Earth sign could be significant. Um, but the devil card is here. It's a big deception. It's, um, a, a lot of lies, I would say. Yeah. Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Devil at the top. Whatever this offer is, is a lie. This person doesn't have what they say they have. They can't help you, Sagittarius. And I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is somebody trying to manipulate a Sagittarius. Excuse me, two of cups here, that's partnership. It could be a toxic partnership. It don't have to be a love relationship. Even though it could be. It's a lot of emotions involved with the Two of Cups, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. When and if somebody does find out the truth, it's going to be some type of emotional uh, dissatisfaction. And actually, this is not the Justice card. I'm sorry. This is the Queen of Swords. And this is the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this definitely got something to do with a partnership. And this Queen of Swords is going... So air sign is significant. So Sagittarius, I don't know where you stand in all this. I don't know if you want to cuss the Scorpio or you got air in your chart. But you definitely have the... Be King of Swords and the Queen of Swords right here. Two of Cups was the first card out, so this definitely is a partnership. But like I said, before we even got this far, when, when it was only four cards out here, that I feel the energy that somebody is lying. And I did see the Knight of Cups, and whatever somebody is offering is complete bullshit. Five of Pentacles behind the Knight of Swords. Five of Pentacles behind the Knight of Swords. Something is complete bullshit. And I'm Sagittarius. I hope you don't fall for it. Yeah. Knight of Cups with the devil. This offer is bullshit. Somebody ate eight, eight of Pentacles. Somebody has been plotting this, planning this, crafting something up here. Maybe Sagittarius, you have something. If this is not you doing this to somebody else, that is a water sign. Maybe you have something that somebody wants and they want to play a lot of games with you. Knight of Swords energy. Because they probably want to steal and they want to take from you. Judgment is here. Because that it is here. And then the hangman. Because once somebody is seen for who 
who they are and you know they kind of get stuck because they can't make the moves they want to make whatever manipulation or offer somebody think that they can give you they realize now that they can't temperance energy here sagittarius energy with this page of swords because this page of swords with this immature communication here with that sagittarius energy i mean that temperance energy can see right through it then you see have here you have the queen of cups so not only the king of cups queen of cups is showing itself but the queen of cups is very intuitive as well i don't know and then also the queen of um swords is somebody with sharp communication and like I said, I think I did a reading for Scorpio to where though I said like Scorpio feelings was hurt. Like somebody had hurt Scorpio feelings. And I, I don't know if I posted this, but Scorpio feelings is hurt. Somebody said something, somebody did something. Mind you, this is not a Scorpio reading, but Sagittarius is very blunt. Air, Sagittarius can have air sign highly aspected in their chart. It doesn't really matter. It's just the astrological energy of the cards. So if a Sagittarius has a moon sign or something like that, emotionally, when it comes to the Queen of Swords, a moon sign that's an Aquarius, uh, Gemini or some shit like that, the communication is sharp. And when it comes to a water sign like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio gets offended. Cancer and Pisces are getting their feelings and get emotional. All right, so I'm going to leave it there with um, this tarot because it's only supposed to be three cards, but I pulled clarifiers. This is definitely something to do with a partnership, and I feel like somebody is trying to offer a partnership based on lies because they want to get get some type of gain from it and i feel like it's a man doing this to a female could be doing this to a sagittarius female so we are moving on to the goddess oracle deck what are the messages for the sign of sagittarius can i get a goddess oracle message for the sign of sagittarius july 2022 Cards fell out. I don't want two cards. Exactly. So you have here Conventina purification. It is time for a cleaning detoxification of your body and mind. Not just that. You what whatever this energy is here that's trying to force its way into your life or make you some type of false offer. It's time to clear. It's time to get rid of it and clear it away. Aphrodite, inner guidance, awaking the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and um, appreciating your divinity. So that's two cards that I didn't, you know, wasn't looking for. But I definitely feel like with this purification, it's time to clean something away. If you've been communicating with this person, talking to this person, having a friendship with this person, with this two of cups, because it's some type of... A partnership emotionally with this person you need to really get rid of them because it looks like somebody is just looking to use you make money off of you uh, trick you because they want something that's what it seems like that's what I'm seeing here so definitely uh, be careful with this water sign person and they don't have to be a water sign but I would say be careful be careful Scorpio Cancer Pisces uh, what are the messages for the sign of Sagittarius Spiritual practices here. Child, somebody could be doing that or a Sagittarius could be in a spiritual practice and maybe that's how they probably figure something out. I don't know. Courage is here. But it's definitely you might need to protect yourself from this person using some type of spiritual work. And it's a need for courage. 
I would also say courage to protect yourself. I see reflection here. You could be finding something out like this person is full of shit. This person is a liar and they only trying to uh, manipulate you and use you. Openness came out. Hmm. Spiritual practice, courage, openness. I need to pull a few more cards, but I definitely feel like there might be some spiritual practice that needs to be used to protect yourself from this energy because the devil came out and somebody else could be doing spiritual practice to have somebody be um, manipulated so they can be able to manipulate somebody. You have innocence here that fell out. You have insight, which is the crown chakra. Really, the third eye is here and the crown is up here, but blue represents the eye. You know, they say, whatever, insight, third eye, crown chakra energy, okay? You could be finding this out, finding something out. You need to find the courage to stand up for yourself and then openness here. But you do have divine support, so I do feel like Sagittarius, if you don't do, maybe you need to pray or something that you need to do to protect yourself from this energy. And then you have innocence here because you are innocent. And I feel like when it comes to Sagittarius people, sometimes they're so jovial, nice, and kind that people feel like they can prey on them. Openness, I honestly, what I'm getting from this openness, because like I said, with the spiritual practice, you might need to protect yourself. I feel like you might need to stop being so open because the only reason why this person knows what you have or what you're doing is because you're so open about it. Or you need to be open to some type of truth. Be open-minded. Because with the Seven of Cups, you could be confused because it's so much. Because it's, yeah. With the Seven of Cups, you could be so confused because it's so, you know, this person could be confusing you with so much manipulation. But you have a higher intuition with the inner knowing. And then you have acceptance. So you need to accept it. And then you need to go here. Somebody could even do, you know, be psychic or something. It's very intuitive, but you need to go ahead and protect yourself from whatever energy you see is courage. I feel like that seven of wands energy, standing up for yourself and standing your ground and letting this person know that this is not how it's going to go down. And you need to really leave this energy alone. All right, so the next card, okay, so we did the good issue, we did the guidance, so we want to pull um, Oracle, Kali Oracle message for the sign of Sagittarius. What is the message for the sign of Sagittarius? Holly, give me a message for the sign of Sagittarius, July 2022. I felt that card flip out. Ba, 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 nesfari. Ba, ba, nesfari. This is the artwork and this is the... Bavanes Vari. So that would be Bavanes Vari. Okay. She is the rising sun, marking the ending of darkness and the replenishment of, of life force after illness and devastation. She creates a clean slate and a fresh start. She protects and preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in a perpetual state of divine beauty and radiance, attracting to us most supportive and honoring circumstances. So I definitely feel like that's a message saying that you are protected and will be protected from, um, you know, whatever this darkness is. This person is dark. The devil did come out. Somebody might be like taking the life force out of you but it will be replenished and, and something could be devastating when you find out that this person is really some type of monster all right but as i told you when you walk away leave this person alone you know protect yourself put some type of boundaries up it, it creates a clean slate for you because then people realize that they can't walk all over you 
And with that being said, like the last sentence says, if, um, like the last paragraph says, which that seemed like a full job, she protects and preserves that which is worthy of the heart. She shines in a perpetual state of divine beauty and radiance, attracting to us the most supportive and honoring circumstances. And that's what that spiritual practice is. Because you might need to get, you know, get your spirit guides involved, get your spiritual team involved when somebody is trying to, you know, somebody is in devil energy. And this is definitely maybe a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I'm feeling a strong Scorpio trying to just strong arm manipulate and, 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 and take advantage of a, a, a Sagittarius here because innocence did come out. Innocence did come out. Okay, but that's going to be all for the uh, July 2022 predictions for the sign of Sagittarius. Look, Tempers card coming out. Balance. Because their balance will be restored once you handle a situation, okay? Um, so, yeah. I am Infinity. This is Empress Lulu 7. I hate to keep saying it, but you need to get familiar. Um, all of my information will be in the description. I am available for pers uh, private and personal readings. You can book with me on my website and you can also take a look and browse around to see what type of uh, merchandise I may have that you could be interested in. I do have new merchandise coming in, so stay tuned and stay posted. Follow me on other platforms and also subscribe here on YouTube if you do enjoy my content and click the bell so you can be notified. Good luck to the sign of Sagittarius.